So this is the intro, but we'll get going. It looks like we're a little behind schedule anyway. Uh, yeah, so this game was popular for a couple of reasons. The sound effects. Sound effects are amazing. You can't say they're not. So the arena version. Or arcade, sorry. The brand new quest, which is a kind of dungeon explorer or what do they call it? Not Metroidvania. I don't know. Yes, God bless the ring. How's it going, old Vortex? Wait, what? Oh, no. it's all right. I didn't tell you to load anything. My game. All right. Air Gikes. So, arcade mode. Versus mode, practice, options, exit. So, we'll be doing arcade mode. Starts on character select. This game got a lot of hype because Sephiroth, Tifa, and Cloud are all amongst the playable characters. Along with a lot of the original cast. So this guy's easiest one to beat it as. And Cloud is pretty cheatery. Yeah, quest mode is a lot of fun. It's also really dense and weird if you don't have any instruction. I could do as Tifa, but it's... Yeah, I could do as Tifa, I guess. Hmm. We'll, we'll go Tifa. I am so bad with God Hand. <laughs> it's not even funny. Character select, hit the button. Ready! Uh, this is so different. See, where Buddy Roar is fixed in more of a 2D plane, this is very uh, open traversal. Ow. Ow. I forgot to change settings. One moment, please. So, the actual arcade speedrun version is really sad. So we do all that. You know, they said it all the very easy. What, what mode did I put it as? Easy percent? Uh, any percent. Okay. So yeah, any percent is these settings, essentially. You can turn that to whatever, though. A lovely sound effect. <laughs> That's one thing I really don't like about this. Okay, that sounds gone now. Alrighty, so we'll go back to... There we go. Okay, control mode's fine. <laughs> oh, I hate the side effects of this game so much. So you got your kicks, your punches. You got your extra punches and kicks. And you've got the circle button, which for her is, you know, her one-handed Kamehameha has moved. I don't know if there's a lower reason these three characters are in this, but they are. So, Final Fantasy Five, seven, seven fans everywhere, rejoice! Yeah. All right. It's actually a decent amount of depth for the combat here. It's like there are characters that can literally jump off walls and attack. the punching and kicking and all that there, there's a lot of combos that i don't really know atifa um the speed run usually uses uh the guy with uh, missiles in his feet be 
because his special shoots a missile that is heat seeking. Uh, once it runs out, you can just keep spamming that button and do all sorts of kicks. And it's just, it's, it's really fluid and easy to win with. Although in easy mode, very easy. It's not like it's hard anyway. Yep, and you can jump! Crouch, you press your circle button, you jump. It's kind of clunky, but you know. Yeah, this is another one of those really wonderful games that I found. Just, you know, yard sales and flea markets. Stop. Ooh, lag. Get up. Ow. Is that supposed to be Li Shuen? I'm not sure. I actually don't know who that is, unfortunately. Ready? Hi. I win. Okay. There are a ton of little silly side games in this one too. So, as with all other fighters, you beat the whole cast, and then there's some extra bottom less. Yeah, yeah, you just have, you can even hold it and charge it. And it's a homing fireball. Ah, charge! Now there are two. Oh, they're gonna get you. <laughs> oh. Could be inspired by. Um, I mean, I'm sure all these fighting characters have some degree of inspiration from real life. People. In place of fireballs, Cloud has a sword. Lag. Yeah, sorry it was so short. <laughs> a lot of the music in this game is really good. The menu, I wish I could hack it and just get rid of it. Just want to lay there? Okay. Tifa moves on after beating Tifa. Most annoying boss ever because you have to hit him low. Hunt. Well, you know, it's basically the Naki, right? Ah, poop. Uh, the, the very easy is very easy. Um, and then of course there's this at the end of arcade, which I'm sure anyone playing this has gotten to before. Oh dear. The what the heck is this? Ow. 
Ow. Give some credits, boss, right? Oh no! And I think you get a good or bad ending depending on whether or not you beat it. But, you know, it got me. Thanks for the GG other rock. Um. Yeah. So, if you haven't played this, I recommend it. Um. Yes, that's. That's the credits boss. Um, win and losing that really only affects um, some of the ending and ending screens for the characters. Um, but I mean, you've already won the game, whether or not he knocks you out in that credit fight. And I think the only way you win it, quote unquote, is by uh, surviving through the credits. I don't think you can actually knock them down. Or maybe it's something to do with the boxes. I've never really... I haven't done it recently enough to figure, remember what it does. Altier Peach. So that was the arcade mode. Pretty straightforward, simple fighting game. Uh, I don't know if I have a few seconds to show off some of the other modes, or if the next run is ready and I should, uh, yield my time. Um, but, yeah, very easy arcade modes. Very easy and fast. Um, let's see. Oh, gotcha. Um, let's see. Yeah, this... Ah, I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll rock, just, just showcase this mode a little bit. Like, maybe just a couple minutes. Um, because yeah, you have the arcade, which is a full fighting game, and then you have this, which is a full RPG. Uh, why can't I remember... I've only slept three hours, I'm sorry. But yeah, it's the random... The dungeons are always randomly generated. The drops are always randomly generated, so... You have magic, you have all sorts of weapons. Weapons can all have blessings of gods to get stronger. You have to eat. Uh, there's a difference between the characters. Claire's a lot better at magic. He's a lot stronger. But yeah, I mean... You've got inventory. You have to carry your gold. Potions for healing. I don't remember. Place in satchel. If it's in your satchel. If you haven't played this before and you want to try it, put these in your satchel and try not to use them because if you get killed, it'll prevent you from dying a little bit. Um, Alright, here, get the gold out of my bags, please. Hey, okay, you can give him the gold, get it out of your bags, it's fine. Um, but yeah, the goal is to dive down to the bottom depths of this dungeon. And, uh... Try and find an artifact that's down there, which involves a couple of boss fights and some interesting story stuff. But the first time you walk into it is when the stage is generated, the level. So you got your stabbies. You can magic. Which one's jump? You have your jump stabbies. This move will save your life so much. Just hold R1, press L1. I'll knock enemies back away from you, but the speedrun basically, I haven't learned it all the way, 
We come down here to floor seven, which you have no re no right to be on as a level one character. Oh dear. Ah. I have all sorts of enemies. And your goal here is just to find a weapon, because sometimes you're just laying on the ground. Um, so let's see if I can find a weapon real quick. That's not a weapon. We show off the octopus boss. <laughs> Hey, okay, I pick up stuff. It's a lot of it's you know Diablo-esque item inventory management. Steak is not a weapon. Here's a weapon. All right, good. No ink. Ow! My bad. Yay! Oops! Oh dear! They're gonna kill me! Ow! Made a wrong turn. Okay. Speaking of lovely sound effects. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Can't... Or you die. So, you want to come down here, floor you shouldn't be on, get a weapon which is better than anything you'll get on level one. And then you go fight this squid dude. Which I'll die. I'll probably die real quick and then we can cut after that. Um, But this will drop you down to the lowest floor you can come at from town. Floor 13. Which you really don't want to do until... This guy's dead. This kills so many people. Sit here for two hours and get lucky and kill it with my feet. But it is 100% going to kill me instead. So if both your characters die, then it's a game over. You can go back to your character who died and rescue them and bring them back. Um, you level up independently. You know, you get experience from killing monsters. But it's really, it's a fun, it's a fun game. You have to eat food to balance your stats. Um, yeah, it, it's an achievement when you do that. This game is really hard. Um, you really have to cheese it with upgrading your weapons to really beat it. But yeah, 